This way. This way, buddy. Come. 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 Good boy. All right. Good boy. There you go. Here's your good boy. Just in case. Yeah, cool off these cockles. This way, buddy. This way. This way. This way. This way. Good boy. All right. Way to fight the current there, buddy. There you go. In the prior two video clips, Dog decided to spontaneously go for a river swim without any prompting from us. It is important to watch out for your dog when around rivers. Dogs, like kids, lack situational awareness. They're certainly not as stupid as UC Berkeley students, as those morons are completely brainless, but they are singularly focused. You've probably noticed little kids walk in front of someone in a grocery store, or stand in someone's way without even noticing someone is trying to get by. This is a lack of situational awareness. They are so focused on themselves and their own activities, they don't notice their surroundings. Eventually, kids grow up, unless they go to UC Berkeley, and are less self-centered. However, dogs do not. They are always 100% focused on their current task. If you throw your dog's ball into a busy street, he'll run out into traffic to get it, no matter his age. So we must be aware for them. Look at the current screen image. You can see the dangers in the river. There is a ton of debris at the top and then a rapid cascade past several logs and sweepers. If the dog was swimming just upstream of this position, it would uh, be extremely dangerous. In this next photo, you can see calmer waters, but a huge amount of debris. Again, if the dog were swept up against the snag, he could become trapped. Watch how fast dog is being swept down river when he decides to go for a swim. If there were dangers just downstream, he'd be in trouble in a matter of this seconds. Way, All you have to do is turn your back for a split second. Remember, rivers are dangerous, so take steps to reduce your risk and the risk to those who may not understand those risks.